Hey guys, I'm going to show you just how easily you can calculate NPV or net present value in Excel. Now for the sake of this example, we're going to pretend we're thinking about starting a website. And we have estimated that in order to start this website, it would cost us $1 million today approximately. And that's why we put here year zero. But then we expect this project will last about seven years. And we're trying to decide, is this worth uh, funding or should I spend my money on something else? And one thing that's really important with that is the interest rate. So the interest rate will be based on the risk of the project. So if I could invest this money in other assets, what are their interest rates? How risky is this relative to them? And then you'd come up with some sort of interest rate. Now we're assuming that this project gains $400,000 every single year in revenue, but it also costs us $200,000 every year to maintain this website. Now let's calculate uh, net present value. So the simplest way that we can do this is we can just find the value of each of the cash flows, which will be equal to the sum of all of these three columns. So it'll uh, include the initial outflow and then the revenues and costs. So I'm just gonna hit Control C and then I will highlight the entire range, paste formulas, and now we can see that each year we're supposed to gain about $200,000. Now we can already calculate NPV using the inbuilt Excel formula equals NPV. And then for this rate, uh, we'll just use that 3% that we uh, included at the start of the video or we figured out based on the risk of the project. And then we can just highlight all of these cash flows after year zero. Don't include year zero. We'll do that outside. So we'll do plus the cash flow of year zero. And we're gonna see that this project has an expected net present value of $246,000. And because the NPV is positive, we should accept this project. If it's above zero, then we've determined that based on the risk of the project, our return is sufficient. Now, another way you can calculate net present value is by calculating the present value of each cash flow individually. So for year zero, we don't discount at all, so it'll just be equal to that initial outflow. But then thereafter, we can find the present value of each individual cash flow by taking that cash flow and dividing it by one plus the interest rate. And I'm gonna hit F4 on my keyboard to lock that cell in place. And then to the power of the number of years. So as we get further into the future, we're gonna discount that uh, cash flow by more. So you'll see, um, I'm gonna hit Control C on my keyboard and then highlight the range and then paste formulas. And you'll see that each year we go into the future, this $200,000 becomes less valuable because it gets discounted by a greater number of periods. Let's do a slightly more advanced example where instead of using those generic years that we used initially, we actually have the expected dates. So this should be closer to the real world. And we think uh, it's gonna cost us $700,000 on 4-1, Put that April Fools because this is a fake company, and then we'll gain three hundred thousand dollars on eight thirty one twenty three twenty three, and so on and so forth. Now we can determine the NPV using the X NPV formula, and it wants rate first, so we'll select the three percent, and then we'll grab our values, and then we will grab the dates and hit enter, and we can see that the NPV now is a negative forty eight thousand which means that we should not accept this project because the return is not worth the risk that we're taking. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.